and that access stretches beyond the homeowner. KSHB 41's Grant Stevens shows us how these repairs are making a bigger impact on the community. The Town Fork Creek Neighborhood Association will tell you this neighborhood has a history of ups and downs. And today, with a little help, they're working to build themselves back up. A historic neighborhood Darlene Guest says is historically overlooked and underserved, but they're working on it. We've gotten our, our park revamped. We have Satchel Page Stadium that's in our neighborhood. We're trying to get parks to upgrade that so they can be usable and functional again. Today, they weren't working on it alone. Volunteers with Habitat for Humanity KC spent the day at half a dozen houses in the neighborhood fixing decades of neglect, often unavoidable on a fixed income. A lot of this work is just reinstilling pride in communities. A peek behind the curtain here. Sometimes it's tough to find people willing to interview about this. They keep saying, Rose, you want to talk? Yep, I will talk today, tomorrow, whenever they want me to talk because I'm happy and I'm thankful. Cruz helped a very thankful Rose Stanford replace the rotten deck she actually once fell through. <laughs> Now you've got so that. I am so happy. Planted shrubs in the front lawn, something she's always wanted. Yes, love it. Each board, each stroke of a paintbrush, each plant planted makes a difference. It does create kind of a snowball effect throughout the community. To help restore pride in the neighborhood and for people to be able to be proud of the home that they live in. Turn the houses into homes. Darlene and Rose call it a hidden gem. Before, I, I loved the neighborhood. And now I'm, I'm even loving it more. A gem volunteers just gave a little polish. I am very, very happy. In Kansas City, Grant Stevens, KSHB 41 News.